This is Michael Popak with a Legal AF Hot Take, and this is the Once a Liar, Always a Liar edition, and I'm talking about Alexander Smirnov. Alexander Smirnov, who had been a confidential informant, a government asset, who was cooperating with the FBI for going on more than 10 years and was at the heart of an investigation and, and potential criminal prosecution against Joe Biden and Hunter Biden because Alexander Smirnov lied to the investigators that he was aware of a bribery scandal in which Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were to receive $5 million apiece from the Ukrainian government and from Burisma. That was all a lie, so bad that the special prosecutor for Hunter Biden out in California had a turn tail and, re and return fire against a witness of his and indict him for making false statements to the FBI. But that's not the new reporting. The new reporting is, one, we finally know what Alexander Smirnov, the confidential informant, looks like because he's been burned, if you will. His mugshot is now available because Otis Wright, a federal judge in California was having none of it and put him in pretrial detention because of uh, lies that he made about his arrival back in the United States during the pretrial detention phase, during the arraignment phase. And Otis Wright thought it would be better to make sure that he shows up for all of his court appearances by staying in federal detention in the meantime. So we got the mugshot. So he's been burned, as they like to say, in covert operations world. However, that's not the reporting. The reporting is that as, as recently as 10 years ago, in another case involving the FBI, uh, this same Alexander Smirnov was uh, accused of lying about witnesses just the very way he was accused here and is being indicted for lying. What am I talking about? There was a case involving a husband and wife team. They were represented by a lawyer, Mr. Benincasa. Mr. Benincasa was interviewed on CBS News in which he described the lies that this same confidential informant used against Joe Biden, used against Hunter Biden, and adopted by MAGA uh, right-wing congresspeople in the Oversight Committee to try to lead to the impeachment of, of uh, Joe Biden, relied on this, what they claimed to be an unassailable FBI confidential informant. Oh, really? Not according to Mr. Benincasa, who represented two clients of uh, against whom Mr. Smirnoff had already lied in another case back in 2017 involving tax fraud. Mr. Benincasa represented a married couple, Tigran Sarkassian, and his wife, Haripsimi Kachatrayan, and no, I'm not going to repeat those names again, but Sarkassian and Kachatrayan were represented by um, by Mr. Benincasa, and Smirnoff was the uh, confidential informant against them, a witness against them, and was caught in lies. So why did the FBI ever use them again? And how does that not undermine all of the cases that Smirnoff is at the bottom of in terms of being a testifying witness? Let's take a listen to Mr. Benincasa. Smirnoff told the FBI President Biden and his son Hunter took millions from a Ukrainian energy company. His claims were made public and championed by the president's critics, leading to an impeachment inquiry. I trust the whistleblower. Until the Justice Department charged Smirnoff last month with making up the story, undermining the impeachment effort. And what did you make of when the FBI charged Alexander Smirnoff with telling lies? I thought if you want an informant who's going to lie for a criminal conviction, they got the right guy. Criminal defense attorney Joseph Benincasa warned the FBI eight years ago in a sentencing memo when Smirnoff was a key secret witness in a case against Benincasa's clients. You write, the confidential human source was known to the United States as a liar and a fraudster. You think it was known? Without a doubt. What happened when you warned the government about it? At first, they didn't believe us. Benincasa says when his clients filed a civil suit against Smirnoff and threatened to depose him, the feds cut Benincasa's clients a better deal. They initially wanted 10 years from our clients. We suddenly had an, an offer for a year, year and a half. They should have cut ties with him years ago. Former Justice Department Inspector General Michael Bromwich says the new charges against Smirnoff could imperil other criminal cases in which Smirnoff was the informant. Does somebody have to look back on those old cases to make sure everything is still on the up and up? Yes, I think a review has to be done to find out not only what happened here, but whether there is a systemic problem. 
Ben Encasa said he regularly encounters informants in his practice, but this one stood out. It's kind of surprising that he has been able to do it for as long as he has without anyone in the government stopping him. An FBI spokesperson declined to comment, but attorneys for Smirnoff in a statement to CBS News said their client stands by his years of service to the Department of Justice and the United States. Okay, so this this leads to a lot of questioning. How David Weiss, the special prosecutor, could ever think to use Alexander Smirnoff to go against Joe Biden and Hunter Biden in a very high profile case where somebody is accusing the now president of the United States and participating in a bribery scandal. This is your this is your basis. The guy who lied against his husband and wife team in a tax fraud matter that was pending in California. That guy should have been speaking about burn notice. Alexander Smirnov should have been burnt and completely removed from the FBI confidential informant roster and shouldn't be used for other cases, and certainly not one against Joe Biden. Look, folks, did you know that 35% of adults report experiencing poor sleep quality? Better sleep awaits with Cozy Earth, and it's time to discover the secret to better sleep with Cozy Earth's luxurious bedding products. And here's an exclusive offer just for our listeners. Use code LEGALAF for 35% off at CozyEarth.com. Cozy Earth bedding products are crafted with temperature-regulating technology, adapting to your body's needs, ensuring a sleep experience tailored to you. Cozy Earth uses only the very best fabrics, materials, and weaves, offering superior softness that invites you to sink into a world of comfort. I can speak from experience. Cozy Earth bedding is incredibly soft and comfortable. I just love it. I'll also tell you what I love, and that's Cozy Earth standing by the quality and longevity of its products. Enjoy a 100-night sleep trial and a 10-year warranty on all purchases. That's a decade of unparalleled comfort and support. Incorporating Cozy Earth products into your self-care routine can enhance your sleep quality and overall wellness. Treat yourself to ultimate comfort with Cozy Earth bedding and sleepwear and prioritize your self-care and sleep health. Use my promo code LEGALAF at checkout for 35% off at CozyEarth.com. After you place your order, be sure to let them know we sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to write in Legal AF. It helps. Head over to CozyEarth.com and use promo code Legal AF for an exclusive 35% off. Upgrade your nights, transform your days with Cozy Earth. Now, look where, look where the egg on the face has landed on James Comer on MAGA, on Marjorie Taylor Greene, on on on, uh, on Matt Gates, who all said this was rock solid testimony from a confidential informant who's reliable against Joe Biden. It's the basis of our impeachment proceeding. Now, now there's new reporting, and I'll do another hot take on this that the that the uh, MAGA right wing oversight committee are now going to make referrals to the Department of Justice for possible criminal investigation. I got news for them. That's not how it works. That referral is no is just going to be a press release because they need to do something with their failed impeachment proceeding, which is going nowhere fast. They don't have the votes for it in the House. They don't have the votes for it in the Senate. And they're and so they want to they want to figure out a way to use all this other material. Oh, we'll put it in a form of an of a referral to the Department of Justice. That's not how that works. They're not the victims. The Department of Justice already knows about the allegations and knows certainly about Alexander Smirnoff. They're now burnt confidential informant, having been accused of lying again. It's just mind boggling that, uh, look, I get how these kind of assets, human assets, human intelligence assets are used in investigations. Fully understand that. I also fully understand that these people are not uh, the 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 pillars of society. Let's say they're not the shining examples of of citizens that we like to hold up to our children and say, oh, yeah, that, okay, I get it. They're underworld figures. They move on the dark web. They move in a way. Uh, they rub elbows with the criminal element. They themselves are borderline or even cross over the line to be criminals. I get it. But Alexander Smirnoff is your basis to go after Joe Biden and Hunter Biden so bad that you had to turn around and indict him for his own lies to the federal agents about, about the bribe scandal? That's how bad it got. You know it's bad when a prosecutor has to turn around and, and, and prosecute his own witness. Now, of course, it didn't stop Congress. 
And that's the other point of this hot take. Didn't stop Congress from embracing Alexander Smirnov. Oh, he is he's amazing. James Comer goes on every network news show and says whenever he's asked at that time, yes, yes, Smirnov, yes, very, very powerful testimony from a compelling witness to this committee. All a lie. All a lie. You know what we don't do? <laughs> we don't blow smoke or sunshine here on the Midas Touch Network. We don't do it on legal AF. I pulled together, along with my co-anchors, the top stories you need to know at the intersection of law, politics, and justice, like here's what Alexander Smirnov looks like. Here's his mugshot. If we're going to burn notice him, let's burn notice him right here on the Midas Touch Network. Why not? And bring to you this reporting about his baggage, let's just say, and the fact that it probably undermines, Lord knows how many dozens of other investigations kind of trace their lineage, trace their their uh, uh, their their genesis to uh, fraudulent information given by Alexander Smirnov. Look, I know that just because he's a liar once doesn't mean he's lying about everything. But it, you know, I think if if he ever takes the stand against any of these people, how could he possibly survive? How could he ever possibly survive the cross examination? Given the fact that he's now been indicted as a perjurer, the FBI has to immediately go back and reevaluate all of their files that have anything to do with Alexander Smirnov and reevaluate whether they were properly prosecuted, whether the evidence was weighted uh, improperly because of testimony that he gave that was false or fraudulent. You know, it's like it's like when the um, when the uh, prosecutor's office or the DA's office figures out that like they've got corruption or a rogue um, coroner or accident reconstructionist or somebody who made made false uh, reports. They have to go back and look at every case in which that person was involved to see if they are going to be, if they're going to have to reverse course and, and set guilty people, uh, innocent people free and make sure that only the guilty were convicted on this information. That's now the task for the Department of Justice and the FBI with this new reporting. We'll continue to follow the case of Alexander Smirnoff, the sordid tale and, and how um, he lied against the now president of the United States and the repercussions because of that as he sits in a federal detention center in California awaiting all of his procedures in front of a presiding judge, Otis Wright, right here on the Midas Touch Network and on Legal AF every Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern time and, uh, and then on audio podcast platforms of your choice. Free subscribe to the Midas Touch Network and help them get to 3 million free subscribers. Use your thumbs and fingers. That's all it takes. And leave me a comment here on this content. That helps keep the ratings up, keeps me on the air. So until my next hot take, until my next legal AF, this is Michael Popak reporting. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.